welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of unboxings and reviews of products that will help make your life easier and a lot of Nespresso content as well. Today we are obviously doing FabFitFun, which is a lifestyle subscription box. It is one of the most popular ones. Uh, it's been around for a really long time and they release four lifestyle boxes every quarter. So um, seasonally, spring, summer, fall and winter. This is the winter box. And yeah, I'm excited to unbox it with you guys today. This is what it looks like. I think it's definitely a really cute pattern. It's not my favorite one they've ever done, but I do like the seasonalness of it. And yeah, this is how mine came. I will say that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be resubscribing. My subscription comes back up in the summer and they have raised the price for the second time this year. I totally understand them raising the price. Earlier this year, it was kind of a long time coming. I feel like, you know, with all of the issues that have happened in the past two years with supply chain and then just, they have never raised their prices since they started. Uh, so that wasn't really like a huge thing. It was kind of annoying, but I, I can understand it But now doing it for the second time in the same year. I just think that was like Poor judgment on their like side of it. They should have either raised it more in the beginning or Not done the second one at least not in the same year. So it is a $60 box a quarter now if you do a annual subscription, you do get like a $5 discount per box, but you have to pay that up front. They did do what they did with the previous time they did the like renew of the box where you had to have done it like in October, I think. But if you were already like a subscriber, they gave you the opportunity to subscribe annually at the previous rate, which was the rate that like had already been raised this year. So I did do that for when they told us that like in January last year, but this time I decided not to take advantage of that. And instead, I think I'm considering canceling in the summer, but I haven't decided 100% yet. So we'll have to see how the next, uh, I guess I have one more box after this one, how that one goes as well. I am kind of excited for this box. So I they added a new thing for the booster box this time and it was to pay for rush shipping. So I decided to just try that out and see how it was. Now, if I'm paying $15 for rush shipping, I expect to get the box before anyone else. I expect to be like two day shipping, get the box super fast. I did definitely get it faster than I did in the past, but I think that other people who didn't say they paid for rush shipping also felt like they got theirs faster than they did in the past and have already received their boxes. So I'm a little bit frustrated with that aspect. I would not recommend doing the $15 for rush shipping and I should have known, but I just figured it would be nice to try out and let you guys know how that went. But let's take a look inside the box. So this is what it looks like. Mine is really big this year, or this quarter. I probably based on like the things that I picked. So we're just gonna put this to the side and take the things out. So this is the magazine for this quarter. They used to have like every single selection in here so you could like go through and see what other items you could have picked. But now they kind of sporadically put them in here and it's not quite as much. I'm just trying to see if they did add any this year. It's a little bit more. They did not. They do have like this page where they give you the QR code to look through it. So I will be putting the like values up on the screen for each item. I don't remember what they are, but first we're just going to quickly go through my add-ons. So I'll put a timestamp if you don't want to see that. I did get this item for free for spending $15 in the add-ons. It is Smart Water Passion Fruit Mango Flavor. And then I added on one of the sponge gels. Um, we love these. They're just like buffer, like soap infused things. And this one smells really good. It's Sparkling Sage. I also picked up a makeup eraser. If you've never used those, I highly recommend it. Oh, one of my items got squished. Well, that's okay. <laughs> So we're going to try to go from customization one down, but, uh, or up, I guess, but I may get them mixed up. 
So the first customization, I picked the car organizer. There were a lot of like good options in the first customization, but just nothing that I really needed. I figured I could get one of these. I have one for one of our cars and wanted to get one for our second car. So I thought this was a good pick for that. It does feel pretty well made. I will say that I think it's overpriced. They did give it a $50 value, which I got a much nicer and bigger one on Amazon for like $30. So I think that's like a questionable value point, but we will use it. So it does have like buckles to well, open it. So it's quite, it's like a pretty good size, but it is still kind of small. Like I wouldn't say it's a huge car organizer, but it's, it'll work for what I want it for. It does have like Velcro so that you can like only have like one side open versus having like all of them opened. Um, so I'll definitely be using this. Just wasn't like super excited about it. Customization two. So I think that was these slippers. I love getting a new pair of slippers for the season, so I was really excited for this. This is very on theme for winter, obviously. It does have like a nice like non-slip bottom. I got the medium large. I think that's an 8-9, and I am usually like a size 8, so I figured this will work pretty well. And they feel really soft. It's by the brand Chinese Laundry, which I know is a popular like shoe brand, I think. So, or at least it was at one time. Not sure if it still is. And yeah, it has like a fake suede kind of like a knockoff like Uggs kind of look. But yeah, so I am excited for those. I will probably put those on. Oh yeah, they're very comfortable. Okay, customization three. I think this is why my box is so large. Not heavy though. So <laughs> they have been getting better at throwing in something that's fit, but they use, like left it out for a long time. So <laughs> this is what I got. It is the Fila back stretcher and I'm honestly like pretty excited about it. Let's see all the pieces that it comes with. So this is like the base, I guess. And then you can see there's like three different adjustable levels. Okay, so, and then this is the bending part of, the, of it. And then these have like an acupressure type of thing, but it's not like, if you got that acupuncture pressure pillow thing a couple of seasons ago, I think that was in the spring. Those were like really pointy like plastic pieces, this is not like that. This is just, it's pointy and it's rigid on the black part, but on this part it's like silicone. So it's it's not just quite as acupuncture-y, I guess. I don't know, but let's see if I can put this together. This is like on the lowest level, but basically you just use it to stretch your back. And I'm pretty pumped about it. <laughs> I'm not sure what this piece is for. It does come with instructions, which is always good. Oh, okay, so if you don't want the like extra acupuncture for this middle red part, then you can switch it to this foam one. Uh, so it's just like an extra support when you stretch your back. So that is exciting. And then it comes with a strap to hold it all together maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh, okay. So I wasn't planning on using it for this, so I don't, that's why I didn't think of it. The strap is if you want to use it to correct your posture while you're sitting in like your desk chair, so you can strap it around your chair. So like this piece here, you would like run this belt like thing around it and then put on your chair. So that's interesting. I think that customization four was this tonic by Pixie. So I was, not really excited about anything in this category, I think, and figured this is something that I could use. I have been having some breakouts recently, so this has salicylic acid in it, which is good for clearing those up. And yeah, so it's kind of like a really little thing, but I guess it'll last a while because it's tonic. And then the fifth category is the thing that is squished in here, but I think that it is okay. It's just the box that's squished. Ocetan? I I'm not sure how to say that, but this is like a fancy skincare brand. I remember my mom used to always get lotions from me, them, and I remember really liking them. So I did pick this hand cream out for this category. I think this was something like in the $20 range. They're really nice hand creams, so I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, it doesn't have a seal, which is kind of strange. Um, but doesn't really have a strong smell. They do have ones that are scented. I remember I used to love the cherry blossom one, but this one just kind of has 
like a clean smell and yeah i am excited for this and is in like a metal tube so it's very nice packaging as well and then for the last category this was a throwback item so I don't think there was anything in the regular items that I really wanted, and this was something I enjoyed when I got it. I don't recall when I got it, but it's the We Detoxifying Shampoo, and I thought this worked really well. It has like a rose scent, which I didn't think was overwhelming, and I did enjoy it. So I picked this up for my last customization, and it also came with the scalp massager so this is something i think that went viral on tiktok not from this brand but like on amazon so if you haven't tried one you know i recommend trying it out sometime but i'm actually i think i prefer not using them but my husband does really like them so it just has these like bristles to help scrub the shampoo in your head when you're putting shampoo on so yeah and it also has this little hanger if you have something to hang it up on in your shower which is nice and this is definitely like a better quality one than ones from Amazon. So that is everything that I got in my winter FabFitFun box. I'm honestly pretty excited about enough of the box that I'm happy with it. So I think like the shoes or the slippers I'm very excited about. I'm very excited about the back stretcher. And then everything else I just know that I'm going to be able to use, which is also important. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, did you get your FabFitFun box yet? And what was your favorite item this uh, season? Thank you so much. I will see you next time.